Alright, so before you left me uh, last time, you were supposed to go, um, or after you left me last time, you are supposed to go and figure out the total revenues at one, three, and five dollars. And then think about whether this represents an elastic or an inelastic relationship between price and quantity demanded. So, uh, at one dollar, I've got a quantity of a hundred, so it should look something like this. So I got a hundred dollars for total revenue. Three dollars, three, and eighty, so three times eighty, two forty and then 5 and 60 here um, for 300. So now the question is, what do we have? Are we, um, is this behaving like insulin or is this behaving like apples from earlier? Well, notice what's happening to the price here. We're increasing the price and the quantity demanded, notice it is going down. It is going down, but uh, not nearly uh, as fast in proportion here. We'll talk about that a little bit in a second. So notice what's happening to my total revenue. It's it's increasing here. So if you were a, a producer um, in facing this kind of a demand curve, what would you want to try to do to your price to bring in the most money? You would want to raise your price. You'd want to get up here to five bucks because you're bringing in 300 as opposed to 100. So when this is better for you, this is this is what we, this is an inelastic demand curve from one dollar to five dollars. Now, if you look at the next slide, or maybe it's two slides ahead, um, you have the total revenue test here. So this is a test. So notice, we changed, or I changed, on this slide, I changed the price, right? We increased the price from one to five. So your total revenue test is, if price increases, normally I just put up, uh, an up arrow and total revenue, I'm going to abbreviate, total revenue increases well we just we just uh, we just looked at it on the other graph so if this happens inelastic okay and if you wanted to look at it in the reverse way you could too so if we went, if I ask you from five to one, well the price went down, but what happened to your uh, your total revenue? It went down too. So it could be said one of two ways: price increases and total revenue de increases, it's inelastic. Or if your price decreases and TR decreases, inelastic as well. Uh, and so this is a test. So, uh, and again, if you just always think that, think of insulin as your perfect um, example of an inelastic product, this makes sense. Because we, as we talked about, insulin, hey, I'm going to raise the price of my insulin because the quantity won't change that much. Um, and if you want me to uh, look at this just a little bit more, if you look, if you go from a price of one to a price of five, that's a five times increase, right? That's a 500% increase from one to five. But we don't get a 100% decrease in the price. Uh, we get this little, well, it doesn't even, it doesn't even decrease by half um, from 100 to 60, um, all right? So we get this massive jump in price, which doesn't correspond to a massive decrease in quantity. So we'll talk a little bit more about the percentage change in a second. But here's what I'd like you to do now. Try this one on your own here. So, from total, total revenue from 4 to 5 here. So, calculate your total revenues at 4 and 5 and see what happens to them. And decide if this is elastic or inelastic. And we'll talk about this question when we get back together. Um, about what you would do to maximize your revenue. And this will help you decide if it's elastic or inelastic. Alright? Do that now.